Now this time I don't have a times b equal to zero. Okay, that's what I want to have a times b. All right. Well, could I factor this? If I find the factors, then I could use the zero factor property, couldn't I? Let me show you. What would you get? What are the factors of eight? I know one times eight is eight, but I can't get a six with a one and an eight. How about two times four? There you go. Two times four is eight, and two plus four is six. So I'm going to say you can factor this and have a four and a two. Four plus two is six, and four times two is eight. Okay? Now you have your a times your b, don't you? All right. Then either a is zero or b is zero. And if a is zero, I'll subtract four, and I'll get x is minus four. If b is zero, I'll subtract two, and I'll get x is minus two. 